Hey guys, it's Joel and Billy Joel here in the Rocktown Acoustic Room. We're going to show you the difference between an open back banjo, which means no wood, and a closed back banjo, which has a piece of wood covering it. It's not just there for looks, it actually serves a couple of purposes. One is these metal pieces don't hit your legs because it's resting on wood, so it's a little more comfortable to play. But what people don't generally know is five-string banjo is a much older instrument in the 1880s. Almost all the patents are by a company called Washburn, which we have many of their instruments too, and, and they're low price on their banjos, and they're very good. But these guys came around in the 30s, originally built in the Gibson factory, and most people won't argue that Gibson slash Recording King, which is was one company back then, patented everything that Washburn didn't pat pre patent previously because they were the originator and oldest American banjo company. So those are the two companies. Pretty much, if you're buying a banjo, in my opinion, I've not played anything that competes with these companies currently. So let's real quickly talk about how they sound, and let's let your ears do the judge. It's not right and wrong. Today this is a Civil War sounding instrument, and the closed back you're going to find is more of a modern bluegrass kind of instrument. Doesn't mean you can't play one or the other for whatever you want to use it for. But let's hear this one. We'll play the same riff, just an open slide riff. <laughs> Okay, that's, the, that's this with the open back. Here's another brand new recording king. This one is the closed back. And see that same record? So what you're going to notice that I didn't use picks, because some people don't use picks when they play both. So, in fact, most people don't on open back. So that's the audio difference. We're doing this with an iPad, so you can hear what it sounds like. On your own, it's not a doctor recording in a thousand dollar a mower studio with a ten thousand dollar microphone. This is an iPad you can buy for three hundred dollars. So that'll give you an idea of what the sound difference is. And the only other thing you got to worry about when you buy banjos, if you buy it from a dealer who knows a lot about banjos, they'll place this bridge properly. I just opened that up from Recording King today. That wasn't even attached. They have to be in a certain spot or they won't play in tune. You need one of these things, which is a stroke tuner. We have two of them. This is our older one to place that in a good tech and they'll make the strings nice and low like the ones we have. And if you buy it from us, the warranty's through us. Lifetime warranty and guess what? New gear at used prices.